So welcome to a new video. This is a special one for me. So this is the 500th anniversary of the first gold sovereign. It's the four coin proof set from 1989. So we have a total mintage of 5,000 coins and the release price on these was 1,150 pounds, obviously 34 years ago as I made the video. Now I looked on an inflation calculator, that's around about 3,300 pounds today. So maybe a, an average salary for your typical person. And if you want to just pause that, you can have a read of the information on there. So we have the five coin, the four, sorry, the five sovereign, the two sovereign, the one sovereign, and the half sovereign. So the four coin set, uh, there wasn't a five coin set this year, and there also wasn't a bullion version of this sovereign. So it's very special because it's the only year you can get this coin and you can't buy a bullion version like you can today for example so this is the five coin set you can see here the Tudor Rose design now you might have seen on the channel probably last year was it I had the two sovereign piece so I bought that individually it wasn't part of the set somebody had obviously broken the set up and anyway now I have the four coin set so I've got the five sovereign here this is actually my first quintuple sovereign and if you're not familiar with them, this is compared to a one ounce gold Britannia. So you can really feel the weight difference and it's probably comparable to a 50 pesos if you've got one of those around. So a huge coin and it really shows off this design well. So Bernard Sindor was responsible for the design and this is the obverse. So we have the Queen Elizabeth seated on the throne facing towards us and this is a little bit like the original sovereign of 500 years ago under Henry the seventh so the two sovereign piece is obviously a double sovereign with a little bit of fluff on the capsule we'll just get rid of that and uh, interestingly so in 1989 your favorite people the MPs who are the members of Parliament uh, their average salary was around about 20,000 pounds it was just under but your typical salary was around about 12,000 pounds so Roughly a grand a month was your average man's salary. Now, the price of gold was 220-ish pounds an ounce, and inflation was around about 7.7% in the UK. So this is the full sovereign, and this one, actually interestingly, often trades hands at a higher price than the double sovereign. So because there's obviously a limited amount of these, there's probably around 23,471 in existence, unless some have been scrapped or lost or melted. Um, so the, the Sovereign didn't meet its mintage limits. It wasn't that popular um, at first, and they didn't sell out straight away. So the mintage limits weren't actually fully utilized. Now the five Sovereign was limited to 5,000 coins because it's only available in the four coin set. But the half, the single and the double were in the three coin set as well. And also the single and half were available separate. So you could have bought those and uh, you know you could have had those separate. So there's quite a few more of those. But the five sovereign piece is, is quite rare and quite special. So that is uh, interesting to know about those. So yeah, in, 300, sorry, in 34 years, we've had a roughly 218% price increase in general because... When this set came out, it was valued and it was sold for around 1,050, sorry, 1,150 pounds. And that's the equivalent of around 3,300 today. So approximately 3.5% inflation per year. And all compounded up, that's around a 218% price increase. So your average UK house was around about 60,000 pounds back in the day. And today it's closer to 260. So they've also gone up a little bit, or the pound has gone down, depending how you want to look at that. And uh, yeah, this is obviously the single sovereign versus the five sovereign. So if you've not had one in hand, they are a stunning piece of gold to behold. You can obviously get various designs in the five, co in the five coin size, but this one is really a special one to have. I'd say another one that is on a similar scale is probably the 1937. Maybe that's a little bit more special because you know it's even further into the past and I guess many have been lost but that's another one to look out for and it's certainly one on the bucket list whether I will pick one up or not I'm not sure 
but for now we will uh, obviously continue stacking so this has been my five coin set let me know if you like it let me know would you buy one or you prefer a normal sovereign